What's up everyone, this is Cybernat 8610 and today we had the second part of the case opening video of the Wave 110s. These are from StrikesOnline.com. Be sure to check them out. Link will be in the description as always. That's where I get all my 10s boxes and stuff. And uh, yeah, I thought I would open up three of these for this video. Kind of separating out the case video, not doing it all in one video. I feel like that's the better option to go with. Instead of having one video that's like super long. Well, there we go. I'll say I can't get the plastic off this time. I've heard a lot of people having good luck with these tins. So far, it hasn't been best luck for me. Promotional thing, we've already looked at that more than one video. I'll go ahead and open up the promo pack for this one in case people haven't seen it. But for the other tins, we won't open up the promo pack. Of course you get Blaster, get the Katakuri, got a Cowboy, number 40, and then the Fire Fist Bear. So pretty good promos. Title 1, I guess, has a better promos, but ah, uh, they're both good. Having the reprint of uh, Blaster like that helps, especially for like battling boxers and stuff. It's the main deck I guess I want to use it with. Rat Big Well. Mind Drain, that's a good common trap card. There we go, second pack of Lord Tachyon. We have Go Go Gigas. And uh, Noble Knight Grouchavad. So that's a good card. I already got my place of Grouchavads. Now I still need the Dristans. Uh, but yeah, awesome. I think these will be worth a little bit more too whenever the other ones are announced because there's supposed to be more Noble Knights coming out. So that's a good hollow to get. I don't think there's really any like ho uh, high dollar hollow cards you can get from the, any of these sets. I don't know. Noble Arms uh, Alphature. I've never known how you pronounce that card. But yeah, that will go good with Quachivat, I guess. Kind of got a theme going on there. Hmm, another Hidden Arsenal 7. I don't know. I must be just getting a lot of 7s, because first Blaster 10 opened had a Hidden Arsenal 5. It's supposed to be random. Uh, Advanced Heldry Art. And then our last pack, which is the Hidden Arsenal 7 pack. We have Infestation Pandemic. That's a pretty good secret rare, of course, for Evil Swarms. Alright, put the empty tin over to the side and we'll get to the next one. So far it's been like one hollow, you know, not counting the Hidden Arsenal one. So hopefully, like I said before, we'll get something really awesome. But with these tin openings, there's, like I said, I don't think there's a high dollar card really. There's a few here and there, but nothing, you know, like when the pack is first released. Promo thing. Plastic. There's the promo pack, of course. We already opened that, so I'm not going to keep opening those. I feel like that would be a little monotonous. Alright. Tachyon Galaxy. Let's see, we have Go Gigas. Second pack of Lord of the Tachyon for this tune. We have a uh, Cal 60 Dark Fairy Cheer Girl and uh, Evil Swarm Kirkleon. That's a good super rare, too. Uh, I think this has been going up and down in price a lot lately, too, but I really love the artwork of those. Hopefully, I can get Sombres as well. Because I really I like them. I think they're freaking awesome. I'm glad we got them finally in packs. Abyss Rising. See, we have Emperor of Prophecy and Forbidden Dress. I've been wondering if this card might come back a little bit more this format. It's actually a pretty good card. So yeah, I don't know if that's up in value more or not. Still awesome. I have like, I think I still have quite a few of them. From like the case opening, I kept getting them. Hidden Arsenal 7. Okay, I'm just going to get a bunch of Hidden Arsenal 7s. Might be random for most people, not for me, I guess. But I guess really that's the best one to get. Alright, Spellbook Star Hall. And Retort! <laughs> we got a Secret Rare! Retort. I've been wondering about this one as well. I have a few of these because I was wondering if they'd ever go up in price. Uh, yeah, I'm just kind of waiting for the time. It's not that bad of a card, honestly. I don't think, anyway. Uh, I'm wondering if it might be useful one these days. But it's still a Secret Rare, so that's awesome in itself. So there, that's much better, Tim. Starting to go in the right direction now. And uh, Evil Swarm Bahamut. That's a good... Uh, one of the cards from Hidden Arsenal 7. So, not bad. We're doing good now. Alright. 
Let me put these tins over to the side. <laughs> and our last tin. I have so many tins stacked up over there. I'm trying not to like hit them and all like make a freaking avalanche. <laughs> Right, last ten for this video, then we're going to do three title, and then we'll do, you know, because we're going to have two of each then, so we'll do a video of those. <laughs> that one was, like, not packaged too well, it was, like, already, like, clamped in there. But at least the cards are right, that's all that matters. Promo pack, we're going to have a lot of the promos, too, for, like, sell or trade or whatever, so, of course, contact me on that if you're interested. I'm probably just going to want to have, you know... A playset of each of the Dragon Rulers. It's like the main thing. Because I had, I think, most of the reprints anyway. Maybe a few of the bears. Let's see. Big Well. Hoping the next ten so will have Quasar finally. That's what I really want to get reprinted. Another Big Well. I'm getting a lot of those. Right, nothing hollow from that, unfortunately. Let's see what we can get from Abyss Rising. I guess it's hard to beat that last 10. That was pretty good. Let's see, got a Kaiser. I don't know if it's Caesar or Kaiser. I think in the anime it says Kaiser, so that's just how I say it. I guess it's really Caesar. I don't know. I figured the safe bet is just to go with the anime. Alright, uh, Gaga Gigo the Risen. Speaking of hard to pronounce cards. Oh, it's going to be one of those tins with no hollows. Well, I guess except for Hidden Arsenal Pack. At least they're giving us these, so we feel like, you know, we at least got hollows from our tins. And we got Evil Swarm uh, Thunderbird. For some reason, I couldn't read it for a second. There we go. That's a pretty good secret rare as well. A lot of Evil Swarm stuff. So, yep, that's the end of those three tins, and then we're going to move on to three title tins. Hope you guys are enjoying the case opening. Uh, we're doing all right, I think, and, uh, yeah, hope you guys are enjoying. As always, thank you for watching. Remember to comment, rate, and subscribe. If there's any other openings you want to see in the future, of course, tell me in the comments. Also, if this case opening does really well, we might do one over Shadow Spectres. So, I hope you guys will be looking forward to that. Of course, thanks for watching, and I'll catch you guys later. See ya.